Welcome back, everyone. The big story tonight. The rain is pouring down on most of the state right now, and it's not over yet. Yeah, we're going to see more rain showers tonight. Another round possibly heading for the metro here in the next hour, hour and a half. Here's some pictures of some flooded fields in Maxwell. This was thanks to Marty Mayfield. And then also here's a lightning strike over Albuquerque sent in by Morgan Nelson. If you have any pictures of the active weather, feel free to send them to us at KRQE.com. And here's some of the radar estimated rainfall around the metro. You can see basically it was the western and northwestern half of the metro area that picked up the heaviest rain. Where you're seeing the darker greens, that's indicating areas of heavier rain, so about a half inch up to an inch. In northeast Albuquerque, you picked up a little bit more than an inch of rain according to the National Weather Service. And what we have going on right now is still a lot of activity all across the state of New Mexico, from eastern New Mexico into the central half of the state and also into western New Mexico. Here in the metro, we still have some moderate rain falling around the area. Another round of showers getting ready to move in from Sandoval County into northern Bernalillo County and then some stronger activity still pushing to the south along Interstate 25. So travel is probably pretty difficult around Interstate 25 and between Los Lunas and Berlin because this rain has just been coming down over and over again. This is what we call training where you have thunderstorms just moving over the same areas over and over again, dumping a lot of heavy rain. So that's why the flash flooding concern is so high for tonight and also for tomorrow. And then we still have more storms off to our north around the Jemez Mountains and those are headed south rather slowly about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but they could impact us as we head into the overnight here in Albuquerque. Still a lot of rain around Clayton moving in from Oklahoma and Texas. You can see this rain is moving from east to west, pushing into northeastern New Mexico to come carry. Get ready for another round of some heavier rain. Also in Grady and Clovis, you're not done yet. So we do have a lot of flash flood watches out there for tonight and some flood advisories. Here's the wider picture. You can see still just a lot of activity and it's going to continue. So that's why a flash flood watches for all the areas shaded in green, including areas along the East Mountains. These will last until tomorrow and even into Tuesday in some cases, depending on where you are. Temperatures where the rain has been falling, sitting in the 60s, where you haven't seen much rain in southern New Mexico. Temperatures still in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Winds not too much of a factor right now in the metro, but that could change as we have more showers moving in. That will pick up the winds gusting up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. Right now we don't have any gusts. The strongest winds are around Hobbs and Roswell gusting over 30 miles per hour. So as we head into the overnight hours, there's still a lot of activity. Check out all this action in Texas and Oklahoma. This is all pushing east to west and is headed in our direction. So the rain chances are really going to continue, if not even ramp up on your Monday because this area of high pressure is going to push off to our west northwest. That will allow this low pressure system off to our east that's producing that rain that's moving into northeastern New Mexico. That will move over the state tomorrow and it will linger for Tuesday and Wednesday. So we're going to see a lot of rain over the next several days. Here's your extended forecast in southern Colorado. Temperatures will be in the 70s tomorrow. 75 degrees in Pagosa Springs, 80 degrees in Cortez. Temperatures really dropping with that added moisture well below average for much of the state. We'll be in the lower 80s in Gallup, middle 80s in Farmington, 78 degrees in Grants and the southwest. Another round of heavy storms tomorrow. A lot of flash flood watches around the Gila, so you want to watch out for flooding. And again, do not drive along flooded roadways. And then tomorrow in the south these temperatures in the upper 70s and upper 60s in Ruidoso, so a big cool down on the way in the northeast. Temperatures in the 60s and the 70s with more rain for tonight and also tomorrow over the northern mountains. We're still seeing some showers over the Jemez Mountains and the northern mountains, so that will continue for tonight and tomorrow as well. And the east mountains will be in the 60s and the 70s and in the metro. Check out these high, high temperatures well below average, only climbing into the 70s. That's where we started out this morning, and we're only going to make it to 76 degrees on your Monday back into the 80s by the end of the week. But rain chances still in the forecast over the next seven days, so some good news. All right. Thank you so much, Chris.